Hi Year 12s, I'm just setting up a little task 3 introductory video to get you started. You're responding to texts in a oral presentation. The first thing you'll need to do is head on to Google and search up Shobi. Shobi is a platform that most of you would have used before. It allows you to hand up quite big files to your teacher rather than submitting them on Daymap because Daymap has quite a small file size limit. You'll sign in and I have an account already, but you would type in your school email if you've already made an account and that password. If you haven't used Shobi before, no worries. Just sign up for free and sign up as a student. So once you log in, your screen might look a little bit different but you should have any classes you're a part of down here. Now, because this is a new class, you'll have to add, join the class, and it will ask you for the code. Oops. Join a class. The code is down here, TBCW8. You'll type that in and you'll be a part of our class and I'll be able to see you. So you'll click into our class and you'll see that we have a task three, which is due June 20th week 8 at 4 p.m. So an example, I've got a stage one class going at the moment and they are all part of it and have handed up their draft. Now you won't have to hand up your draft via Shobi, but that's just an example. So I wanted to run through the task sheet very quickly with you as well. Like I said, I'm giving it to you this week, week four, and it is during week eight. I know that seems like quite a quick turnaround, only four weeks, but I wanted to push you through so that I can give you time later in the year to catch up on other assignments that you maybe want to improve. Uh, we will have done two responding to text at the end of this assignment, but we still have two more. So we still have two more assignments after this one and then an exam and then redoing any of your assignments you want to improve on. The tasks ask you to create an oral presentation. Now that, may, uh, that might be a tutorial, like your academic literacy study report was. That might be a podcast, or it might just be an oral presentation recorded like I'm doing now, but with your face at the bottom. You need to analyse at least two. That means if you're after a passing grade, you'd be doing at least two. They are anti-smoking advertisements from the Critics' Choice resource, which is just there. And you need to explain how the different elements in the advertisement appeal to specific target audiences. So just like we did with that sugar film, we looked at persuasive techniques and how they convince the viewer to change their diet, we are looking at specific techniques used to persuade the audience of the advertisement's key message, which obviously is anti-smoking. Might be script, sound, lighting, images, music, acting, or the direction, the camera angles, the framing, the set setting, or the storyline. Now, like I said, you could do a PowerPoint slideshow and record it with screenshots from the advertisements, or a, a podcast, or a tutorial. You need to speak clearly using high-level vocabulary and a logical order for presentation structure. Start at the beginning, give a bit of background information and go on from there. You need to demonstrate understanding of advertisement texts and techniques. So do you tell me what the technique is, why it is used, how it is used in the advertisement and whether it is effective or not. You need to analyse the personal, social and or cultural perspectives. So any other ideas, who the target audience might be and what their beliefs might be. You need to use appropriate language features to produce an effective oral presentation. So that's you. Linking back to number one, setting it out correctly, and selecting and using evidence from the text. If you talk about an element in the text, I suggest you show that on the screen. All right. It's four and a half minutes, which is not very long because that's only about 700, 800 words. I'd like to see your draft of where you're at at the end of week six, and then the final should say week no, uh, eight. I'll need to fix that. Now, I've also provided some scaffolding, which is just teacher talk for extra documents which might help you. 
And I suggest for each advertisement that you go through and write some information in each of the boxes about the target audience, so who's going to watch the ad, about the characters that the target audience might want to empathise with. If I watch it, am I likely to feel sorry for or connect with a certain character and why? How the smokers are represented in the ad. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? Is there a rational appeal? Are they appealing to logic? Is it beneficial to quit smoking because of A, B and C? Or is it dangerous to keep doing it because of X, Y, Z? Is there anything emotional in the ad? Do you feel fear, funny? Do you feel like you're being cool if you do it? Has it got something to do with your gender? Is there any language that is appealing? Any images that evoke an emotion? Is there a key message? Like, if you quit now, you'll reduce your chance of developing a disease by half? Is there a slogan? Do they say the same thing over and over again? Like McDonald's has, I'm loving it, and Nike has, just do it. Is there an argument, do you think, that a tobacco company, so the people who make the cigarettes, might use to rebut or cancel out the advertisement? Okay, what would they say in response? So, go through each ad and fill out that table. I suggest that would be a good starting point. And head on to, let's allow, the Critics' Choice website to have a look at some of the ads. So this one's a video. Good luck and I will see you in class.